Hi there. Harry me your anchor on that log educational consult. So welcome back again. Now we want to launch our Epi Info software. Now I said earlier that the icon is meant to be on your desktop. So here is launch Epi Info. So let us launch our Epi Info. You can right click on it. Oh. When you right click on it, you click open. Or the other way around, you can double click on it. If you do auto open for us immediately. So we are waiting for our MP info to come up. Yes, here is our MP info. Now, in the presentation, I told us that we have six entry details here. Yeah? The first one is create form, second one is enter data, and we have statistic calculator, we have create map, and we have the two sections below for classic and visual dashboard. And the two of them are used to analyze data, are used for data analysis. But first, in this session, we want to go through creating of a form, form creating. So let us click on our form. Yeah, this is our form creation. And uh, on the on the menu bar we have file, edit, view, insert, format, choose, and help. We have all these in our file. Now let me make it larger. Now under the file, our file menu is we use the file menu to create a new project. Open an existing project, save, copy, a view, navigate to enter data or exit the make free program. And this new project area is used to create a new project. It's a new pro create a new project command. And here we have open project, which is new, which is used to open a previous project. Then all these other all these other commands are in, they are not active yet because we have not created a project. When we have created a project, then we'll be able to close project, we'll be able to undo when we've started working, we'll be able to redo. When we have created a project, we'll be able to share code, enter data, quick publish, and also change mode. Now, to create a project, we we'll click on new project. So let us do that. To create a project, we we'll click on new project now is requesting from us the name of the project the description of the project the form name the name you want to give to the form name now this is a different case entirely this is when you have a data repository that is uh, similar to the data you want to create it or the read data you want to create it so now first let us enter the name of our project. Let us enter data log, data log education now. Data log education now, tutorial. That's the name of the project. Now, do you see what happened? Project names cannot contain space or non numeric have numeric characters other than underscores. Please enter a valid project name. You see that I intentionally give it space so that you can know when you want to create a project name, you need not to put a space in between. And then uh, when we clear up the space, we are able to move to the next level. And description of your project is like you telling them more tutorial on fp info that's the description of the project to here on fp info you see we we're able to put it's a description so we can put space in description now in form name also what is our form name also let's say the form name the form name is malaria survey malaria survey now you observe that i didn't put space let me put space and see what we have on you see 
invalid form name. Form names cannot contain spaces or non numeric characters. So yeah, we clear up the space and we press OK. Note, I said our description, we can put space in the description table, but all in form, we cannot put description, we cannot put space there. Now the project has been created for us. Below up here, you see Data Log Educational Tutorial, that's the name of the project. And below it is the name of the form. Next to it is page one, that is the page one is by default the first page that you will see. Or even when you open any, if you open Microsoft Word, the first page that you see is page one. When you open PowerPoint, you only see one slide, which is equivalent to what page one. So that's why the first thing you are seeing here is page one. Earlier on, I told you that all these places are not active because we have not created a project. Now you can see that they are active. You can we can work with it. They are active. Now let me take us back to some other description. So here and we've gone through this enter project name now the next thing i want to introduce us to the is our fields we'll be working with our fields more often we'll be working with our fields working with our fields yeah we call this place our project interface we call this place our project title or form page number and then here you insert menu we use insert menu to insert a new field a new page or create a group and then to insert a new feed, you can also come here and insert a new feed. You don't want to use this particular insert. And there are so many ways you can insert a new feed also. You can insert a new feed from this area. A new feed can be inserted from here. A new feed can be inserted using this insert. You see, we have page under insert page, add a page. We have group under format. You, are, you can set the format alignment background page setup on that to use you can use check data code which are the thing we still need to be working on so in our fields we have so many fields here we have label title test test of practice multi-line number phone date time depends on the type of variable you are dealing with that will determine the type of fields that we are going to use now the next thing i'm going to take us through is for this session we'll be using a particular form as a guide and then i will open the form for us so that we can go through i will attach the form you will see the link to download the form uh below the description on our youtube page so that you can get along with the variable and so that you'll be able to practice on your own and uh, by default when you install your ep info our ep info comes with a log of tutorial it comes with a log of tutorial so you go to your local disk when you click on your local disk you go to users you go to program files rather you go to program files then when you are in program files Uh, sorry, you go to users. Then, when you get to your users, you go to the the file that represent the username for your laptop. My own is data log, so I click on data log. Then, yeah, I have a pin for seven folder. So this is the source folder of your epic info. You have a lot of resources there that you can work with. And uh, when you download your EP info, you always have a kind of folder that comes with your EP info. A kind of sample that comes with your EP info. Okay, sorry. Our source folder is in program files, star 86. Then it is save. You save a folder, a file called CDC. Then when we click on CDC, we click EP info 7. On the IP Info 7, we have all these resources there. We have all these resources there. Then, under each resources, when you click on the resources, let us click on project rather. 
we have a project a ready-made project that you can use as a guide here we have a project called sample you see we are this is a case control a case control database yes we have a case of cholera case of cholera we have a database we have a Z format we have another database access database and uh, all these projects can be open in epic info can be open we have community health assessment also so these are the project templates that you can work with let's click on asthma let me open one of the table for you to see let's click on asthma Now, uh, this is a asthma table that we just open now. As so you can see, uh, this is a data that has been entered, has been entered already. That is in the database. In subsequent time, I'll be teaching us on how to integrate it into our Epic Info. Be teaching us on how to integrate it into Epic Info. Okay. So let's go to our epic info how the next thing is i want to teach us how to open a project so let's click on open project let's click on open project now when i click on open project it takes me to the folder that is in my source folder in epic info it takes me to that folder that is in data log in epic info you see now let's say i go to local disk I take it back to local disk user your own username will be different from my my own is data log so I click on data log then epi info 7 here I have project I click cholera then you see cholera.prg that is the extension of project of epi info i click open these are the project that comes with our epic info and uh, these are one of the things we'll be doing yeah i have we have four forms here we have personal specification you see here we have personal specification the form the page has been renamed to the heading of the forms here we have ines now these are the things we'll be doing next we we'll create we create something like this here we have risk factor here we have risk factor and uh, here here we have risk factor two so uh that is the way to open so in the next section of this tutorial we'll be creating our own form from the scratch so relax get a cup of coffee and join back the video <laughs>